A sea of umbrellas and a peaceful show of force as tens of thousands of protesters spilled into the streets in defiance of authorities after Sunday's rally. Because I just can't help it of the history that happened this recent few months. I feel obliged as a Hong Kong belonger to come out uh, to protest, to make the government realize that we met business. Braving the rain in a scene reminiscent of the umbrella movement protests of 2014. Now it's about an extradition bill with China that protesters say undermines Hong Kong's legal system. The bill was suspended but not withdrawn and they worry that it could be reinstated. This 17-year-old girl was too young five years ago, but now has joined the protests. And if the extradition law is passed, then we will really lo forever lost our freedom in Hong Kong. And that's why when I have the ability this time, I want to stand up and protect Hong Kong. Last week's protests at the airport led to canceled flights and stranded passengers. Some say it hurt the movement. We apologize for any inconvenience caused, uh, and we, we, you can see that we try many ways, but the chief executive does not uh, answer any of our demands, so we keep trying it. Hong Kong Chief Executive Carrie Lam is the focus of the anger. The government has supporters who rallied Saturday. They say these protests hurt Hong Kong, now in danger of recession. There is also a danger that China will send in troops. You know that if China um, strongly move into Hong Kong, I think that will destroy the uh, one country, two system. There's uh, um, the whole world, not just um, America, but also the Euro will um, against China and fight for us. There is no other choice, said another at the rally. Every one of us is scared, uh, but we still have to try our very best to fight for our freedom. Michael Sullivan, VOA News, Hong Kong.